Hello everyone, it's Chad from Colorado Giants. Today is Tuesday, July 21st, I think. Time for your Tuesday update, so stick around. Okay, it is the 21st, got that right. Whew. And we'll start at the back of the greenhouse. Things are going pretty well. I did go out of town for a few days this week. Um, and my goodness, it was sure nice to get out of town with. It was just uh, the missus and I, and that was our first time child-free, um, out of town together since we had him. So, you know, first time in two years that we've been apart, uh, but together. Or away, you know, away from the kid, but together. You know what I'm saying. So that was really nice. Uh, before I left, I vine buried everything, so everything was caught up as of last Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so five days ago, uh, you can see I need to catch up again. Um, I kind of worked all day today, so it's gonna have to get put off for later day this week, but I'm not too bad and everything's all the same. So 2118 Baron, this one I wanna say is like uh, six, six, six or seven days old, something around there. I pollinated this one last. It's uh, it's growing at a pretty good uh, at a pretty good pace. Um, I've seen a few people growing this one, and they were all just ugly blobs. But ugly blobs are usually heavy, so this one has the makings of a plant that looks like it might be an ugly blob. And I say that in the nicest way possible. Sunflowers doing pretty good here. It's probably oh, I don't know what is a sunflower. Four foot tall. The head's fixing to form on it right in there, so. It won't get uh, it won't get much taller, but I really enjoy these plants. What a fun plant! Next year, um, I'll have time to build some beds outside of the greenhouse, and we'll uh, we'll get some tall ones growing around the perimeter like I wanted to this year, but I just ran out of time. Uh, 1911 Urena is looking really good. Um, yeah, so let's make our way over there. 1911 is the front runner. This one is pumpkin is uh, today's day is the 21st. This one was pollinated on the third, so the 23rd. So it's what 18 days old. Um, if you don't know, day 20 is kind of a benchmark. At day 20, people typically know if their pumpkins are going to amount to anything special. Um, I tried to hit 100 pounds by day 20. I don't think I've ever hit. 100 pounds by day 20 but I've been close so I, I count that as pretty good I did uh, bust out my tape measure and I might have measured a few days early because I couldn't help myself so at day 18 this one's at about 70 pounds or so so for me here in Colorado that's good there's a lot of people that at day 20 they want to be at like 200 pounds so I'm well behind people who grow like, you know, like real giants. But for me, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I sent my soil to or my tissue test off. Um, I think I didn't talk about that. So yeah, so last week I forgot to mention that I did send a uh, tissue test off. So I sent off two leaves from the plant. So I sent a leaf from this plant and I sent a leaf from this plant and I wish I had the results here, but I'll just tell you about them. If you want to see, go to my Facebook page, backslash Colorado Giants, and you can see the tissue test results. They came back and basically gave them high nitrogen. That's fine. Um, you know, double the recommended nitrogen level. Fine and normal. And then I'm just a little bit low in sulfur, a little bit low in copper, a little bit low in potassium, and a little bit low in zinc. So all of those I am I am just a tear low in. I could be a little bit bigger or a little bit better, and I'll work on improving those. But as a whole, pretty good. I'm really happy with what the tissue test said. Uh, the 1938 Urena, looking good. A lot of times I'll post like pictures saying like pushing sand, and people are like, "What does pushing sand mean?" That is what pushing sand is. So they grow so fast that you can literally see them pushing the sand. So there you go. That is what pushing sand means. As they grow, it's important to, one, keep the leaves off them so they don't scratch them. Not like what I'm doing right here. I need to stake this leaf back somewhere. Um, so you can see that I'm using pool noodles to lift them up. 
I want to keep as many roots attached as possible for as long as possible so you can see down there at that node you know I definitely have the lead the roots still holding on um, because I do have a little a little bit of slack in this vine so until it gets real taut I'll keep uh, I'll keep those lifted up and I have that with all of them um, this plant still has the best plants it has the most uh, this pumpkin has the most plant behind it so I still have high hopes um, I'm training the secondary vines from behind the pumpkin those are gonna run up and the ones over here are gonna fill out and um, you know I'm gonna terminate most of them most of them are terminated but I'm gonna terminate a few more just because at this point by about day 25 uh, by day 25 you want most of your vines terminated a vast majority of them which the vast majority of mine are but I want to terminate a few more like this 1911 one right here I need to terminate this one because I mean look at this secondary vine holy moly this guy's a monster so that's like what an inch and a half around and it's still so I want the energy going into this vine growth to go into the pumpkin so in fact I'll terminate this one right now Boop. so that vine has stopped growing pinch off the flower as well as the uh, vine tertiary vine because don't need flowers anymore don't need any more vines so there we go that one has stopped growing uh, yeah I mean overall just everything's still doing doing really well let's go look at the 1501 starting next week once everything is past 20 days old I'll probably uh, I, I may switch to every 10 day videos because we're getting to the point where there's not a whole lot to talk about it's just kind of looking at what the what the pumpkins are doing how big they are 1501 is looking great this one should be a really nice orange this one too is, is pushing lots of sand I like to see that the vine the stump stem probably need to lift that one up a little bit but you can see down there I really I don't want to because of those roots but you know if I don't if I don't sever those roots and lift up the vine then the pumpkin will rip itself off um, you also may have noticed that Emily and I put down four by four sheets of foam um, on all the pumpkins because that gives them a base to grow on as well as sand the sand will allow the pumpkin to expand nice and easily um, if you just let them grow on the ground uh, they might grow in a puddle uh, the sand will help wick the water away so full for performs multiple functions and then let's go check out the bushel gourds I'll we'll call this one good a little nervous uh, we might have some hail rolling our direction knock on wood hope not so we'll see if the greenhouse passes the hail test. When I came back from vacation, uh, the wiggle wire along the bottom over there had like literally the, the channel that the wiggle wire in popped off. So we had a few storms while we were gone. And uh, yeah, so hopefully everything was okay there. I, I fixed it, I made it better. Um, but yeah, that's not what you wanna see when you come home. Uh, so the bushel gourds. There we go. So this one was the first one. I forget when I pollinated it. It's on my Facebook page. When I pollinated the second one, these two opened up. That one right there opened up while I was gone. So I did not pollinate that. And I pollinated that one yesterday. So I'm gonna let these grow until they get, I don't know, basketball size and then I'll choose one. And that'll be the, that'll be the one that we stick with. Um, the main vine on this, I need to, there we go, I'll help direct it that way. So the main vine on the bushel gourd, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go down here and around. As far as it wants to go, I'm going to trim off all the secondary vines. Um, and this is really interesting, I've never seen it happen before, but I'm trimming off all the tertiary vines and they're coming, they're coming back. This plant just has so much energy that it's it's wanting to send off more vines so i already pinched off like this secondary vine the secondary vine was right here
Well, hello everybody, it is Chad. 